Okay, they're actually going to go for the Terror Blade, a uh, RTZ classic there. Much attention to that lane as possible. It's going to be a fun one for sure. He's going to Janada, obviously, level one. Every single time he's going to pop it. And actually, my lord, first one is found up top. RTZ getting that when they're up against Schofield. So a couple of kills back and forth. So far, K1's able to find his farm. Dolacore, maybe getting aggressive right now with the blast off coming on through. K1 super low, and it's a solo kill there for Dolacore. What an absolute baller. That's the sort of plays you need to make here to try and shut down the enemy carry. Just solo them, man. Just solo them. Who needs teammates? They're not done yet. Looking for KJ underneath the tier one tower, and Saberlight's able to get that one himself. So another two free kills there for Shopify Rebellion's off lane. I'm feeling a very, very coming off cooldown in just a second's time. It looks like maybe they want to go for that straight away, but the stun from behind there from Schofield tried to hold him back, but no, it's by Lama. He turns around for a searing chains, and that might have just cost him his life as he does end up falling down. Another kill there goes towards RTZ. And Schofield, you've got to be careful as well. Another freezes in. Schofield does chuck out the, sc uh, the stun, but Kit Track with a slow. Oh, RTZ's getting blocked by his own illusions. One hit. High ground quick survives by 8 HP. It looks like Schofield will be able to survive. It's the constant gold steal. So frustrating to play against. But Davai Lama, though, up top. Super low HP. Trying to win array. There's a crystal nova in just a second. Slow. Oh, RTZ turned around. Maybe Davai Lama can survive. Getting blocked by his illusions yet again. But never mind. Kit track in range for a freeze. Make sure there is no retreat. And that ends up being another free kill. <laughs> Me and the kills just don't stop coming, guys. It's K1 dropping down to the bot lane. Creep. We're just trying to harass him out. Man, the amount of damage this creep does. Kind of disgust him. But hate the freeze. Super good versus the old enchantress. And Yopage coming on forwards. Does get an arena block on towards the two of them. The rune, though, is actually already picked up from Analog. And Yopage just has to try and run away. Although poor old Analog can't go anywhere. The invis. But unfortunately, there is going to be a sentry drop there from Kit Track. So the Zeus does go down. Yopage as well also goes and steals the bounty rune for his own refill. Pretty good heads up play there. Schofields. Shiner on away. Can he dodge the spear? Left, right, left, right. Guys, I have no idea why the sound has uh, stopped working coming through the, the stream. So bear with me two seconds. I'm going to miss a few kills because of this. I do apologize. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, right. Reloaded up. The Dota Town should now be working. I do apologize for that, guys. But uh, it is now working. And unfortunately, you're going to have to wait for a little bit longer there. But meanwhile, while I've been doing that, action has been happening. There was a kill on towards the Ember Spirit. They do actually respond there. The Olacore going down. And there's a nice little run away from this. Actually going to get cut off here from KJ. He's going to spot him out. Also, Analog coming through. But at the same time, Shopify Rebellion, remember, they don't want to let their Crystal Maiden die for nothing. It's a three-man arena grab with the blast off that connects onto all of them. There's a huge combo here from Shopify. They've managed to get the kill on towards one so far. Can they get another? They've lost the Olicorn. Analog standing his ground. The damage this Zeus chucks out is just too much. The spear, it doesn't land onto the tree. I What? What? I have no idea how that spear missed the tree. Two for K1. Oh, but he's able to just slip by them barely through those trees. Although he doesn't know he's being chased. He's going to stop to farm the creeps. The bomb will latch with the slow kit track as well. And a blood grenade. Needs some TPs to come in for the tier two to help out. But never mind. The arena is there. And that is another free kill for Shopify Rebellion. Shutting down K1's game even more. Power as much as possible. He will be fine. Meanwhile, classic me, missing another kill. KJ had to die at the top. Saberlight man is having such a free game here on this bounty hunter so far. But it was all a bait. It was wasting his time. KJ has managed to sneak the tier one tower with the troll. All those little skeletons with the rally damage. Super damn good. The three man Siren Chains comes through from Davai Lama. It's connected on from the wall though, and he will still die. Kit Track dropping the ult, trying to run away there with the pick pole. Unfortunately, not fast enough. So he will still get caught and drop down. Lots of kills going on in this game, man. So many. 25 in total right now for just 12 minutes in. A kill roughly every 30 seconds. But I recognize you, Dent. has been found out. Trying to find the opportunity to go for the spear. It lands, but unfortunately, 
It's just too little too late. Don't be mad. They're smoking? There you go. All right, here we go. Question is, who do they find? They can head towards the triangle area, but unfortunately for them, K1's already gone. Actually, they're gonna make the jump on towards the Ember Spirit. Dabai Lama, blown up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Good burst damage comes on through, and they find that kill for free. Obviously not as impactful when it is a mid lane Ember Spirit. It is just off lane this time around. Eddie Tavo Lama has already been suffering a lot this game. And actually they're gonna find a further jump right now. They've got to get on towards Analog. Although it's so close to the tier two, all the TP's coming through. Poor old Kit Track's gonna be the sacrifice. Everyone else runs away. Schofield gets the aggressive swap on towards uh, Saberlight, trying to hold him back. Maybe allow the rest of the team to come on through, but they'll quick jump in from Yopage. They blow up K1 immediately as soon as he shows himself. Down towards the left side as well. Saberlight like gets a free kill, but maybe he's overextended. Three heroes on top of him, and he will end up going down. Stabai Lama, though, trying to maybe pursue for more. Spear does not land there from Yopage. And again, <laughs> no one's really got the lead, although jump forward, Spear doesn't quite land onto the wall. They even still jump forwards. Quick burst damage, though, comes out from the Zeus. They kill the Olicorn, Yopage, all of a sudden it. wondering why the hell he was there. And he all mean all too much when you are a, uh, an alchemist, of course. Oh, actually got the grab here on towards Saberlight, swapping it back into the arms of Dabai Lama. KG also involved. And that will be another free kill, either getting the D ward as well, because he died so damn close. Extremely close now to the uh, the Scardi here for Arteezy. And he's going to feel really damn powerful. Actually, they've had a grab here on towards Dabai Lama. The track was still on top of him. Well, the swap is able to avoid the blast off. It costs Schofield his life, but a valiant sacrifice it is. The life was support used for that kill. That was also Arena. At the same time, it does also secure the tier two. So there's a bit of extra map presence, which we're able to gain. And maybe actually a free kill is KJ. Quick damage just comes flooding on through. He will go down here. And Log popping his ult on but right now. Maybe there could be some sort of response from Heroic. The only call at the back will end up dying. Dabai Lama surging forwards right now. Maybe wants to go for a Searing Chains on towards Kitrak. The CM2 will be left as the sacrifice. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. are under attack. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. Double damage. They're a bounty on me. Dyer's <laughs> middle tower is under attack. I'm not entirely sure, and yeah, Heroic things have no fear. They're just going to end this damn game right now. Ancient based on half HP, but with the involvement of RTC, trying to run forwards, making the space, but off to the side, they've got the control on towards Yo Park. Aerie Sub K1, he doesn't even care about hitting heroes. He just wants to hit buildings. They're trying their hardest in Chopper 5, but it makes no difference at all. The Ancient go best for three. You know. The pinks coordinating the denies, coordinating the last hits. That's what we like to see. Meanwhile, first blood, I caught the very last millisecond of that one. Kitrack ends up going down. And Shell, I, I don't really. <laughs> I, I just need to watch this lane, right? I'm just going to really stick at that lane. Meanwhile, I will look up top for a second as KJ potentially can get ran down. He will fall. Sableye also takes a bit of a beating at the same time, but at least he does survive. And K1, actually suffering quite a lot in terms of CS. Only six of Done. On towards Arteezy with the vacuum back, trying to do a lot of damage here. Unfortunately, still just gets ran down. Not really any point trying to throw the concoction to still get himself killed. Normally, Napalm is just, you know, free stick charges, but KJ not even bothering to uh, pick a stick up, thinking it's not going to get levels. And Schofield comes in for a chicken rotation. One more right click. That ends up being a little solo kill there for Schofield. He's very happy with that one. Bumps up his XP quite nicely, and this is just before the six minute rune as well. But Sue's actually able to pick it up, although Gang's coming the other way as well. 
Analog forced to jump off towards the north side. The Rune actually spawns down towards the south of Lupage. Still rolling around in circles. And Kit Rax actually just gonna have to snatch this one away. Can't get a free uh, recharge. Kit Rax actually finds the opportunity to go to KJ. Good control though from Schofield. And actually the turnaround there with the barrage gets the kill instead. And a very well placed tip there from KJ. It's pings. <laughs> Taylor got spotted. Actually going to TP down to the bot lane. As action is happening, Dabai Lama in danger. Going to get attempting a vacuum to survive, but unfortunately he's got Yopage on top of him. Not going to be able to get away. Schofield will fortunately be able to slip through the gaps. Actually, so oh, he hit Rack. He did spot him, and he's actually put a Sentry Ward down as well. Such huge brain there. Knowing exactly where the D wards were going to be. Taylor caught in the mid, in danger. Try and run away. Gets up to the high ground with the homing missile. Yeah! That's going to be him dead. At the very least, he doesn't give any uh, experience away. Obviously, still with the Rolling Thunder available, there's not really any way that those two heroes could uh, threaten his life. So we're about to disengage A-OK. -okay. Sable Light hit from the stun. There's already a remnant placed this. And look, gets involved at moments notice with the amplified damage. Gets a two-man crush, but unfortunately, a quick little in and out there from K1. Gets the free kill. Down to the south side of it, though. You're partially able to pick off KJ, at the very least. Maybe attempting some sort of back. What is this? Lots of heroes here from Heroic in the mid lane. Maybe trying to look for a potential grab on towards the Pangolier. Dava Lama coming in from backstab. Got the wall down with a nice back from Yopash in danger. Just can't get himself away. He will get picked off as well as Kitrak. So a nice two very juicy kills there going into the hands of Heroic. Arming underneath the tier one tower. They might just end up going for this one right now. He's popped the Chemical Rage. Stun lands onto the tower. Cooldown coming through. Perfect. He plays all three missiles. We're going to connect either way. And that ends up being a very juicy man. Stun there from Schofield. Getting good work done. Analog. Actually, no, there was the haste rune. I just... I didn't even see it, man. I'm blind. But with this haste, Analog going to dive past the tier one tower. Gets a little plus one there of Kitrak with the slight, uh, slight fist. Analog. Really is going super slow. But he knows at the slight is enough to get the kill. Doesn't want to overextend himself to potentially give away a free kill. Three-man smoke move. Well, they could bump into Dabai Lama. They see him in the lane. But little do they know, there's a lot of other members of Heroic nearby. They can potentially turn this one around. Let's get the surge off. Flavor Lasso is already there. They're going to get the track back. Actually, the vacuum cancels the Rolling Thunder. But even still, Dabai Lama does drop down. And immediately, Heroic have to just run away. Aren't run fast enough though for Schofield. End of the pack doesn't end up getting picked off. Oh, KJ, he's trying to use the gate. One second. No cancel though. He will be able to get himself out of there. Pretty damn close. Oh, maybe he's still hung around too long. What? <laughs> KJ, the greed for one camp. He's just bashed and killed. He really, really wanted that, uh, that little medium camp. Unfortunately, gets punished for that big. At the same time, Theolicor also stealing away the bottom wisdom room. More gold, more experience, everything really going the way of Shopify Rebellion there in the last minute or so. Chase after him. Okay, and Log saying he wants to go through. Gotta be careful they don't walk in towards uh, Roshan, but never mind. Saber Light is still. Oh, that no, what? Wow! They didn't see him! Never mind, he's stuck around still. <laughs> he gets hit from the hex. Everyone else is coming on through. Saber Light. Not long for this world. Actually, you're going to turn around to Schofield. The damage is insane. He actually gets the kill first. Now he's going to try and run away. But one more shackles. Will deny. Lots of stuff. The world's his oyster. He's got big plans, K1. Big, big plans. Oh. I ah, missed that one. And Log actually getting caught out in his own jungle. Three kill streak as well for Yo Page. It's a really decent amount of money. He's going to poke on towards K1, who pops the raid, chases these right clicks from Sableye. He managed to get the grab onto the creep as well. Can he run fast enough? He will, because the teammates are coming on through. Good cooldown placement as well. Will secure the counter grab on towards Sableye. And actually, it doesn't look like Shopify are too eager to stop chasing right now. They're going to push for more. They've got control on towards Dava Lame with the Rolling Thunder. K1 with the raid, just charging straight away on towards Kitrak. But still, this Rolling Thunder from Yopard chasing in deep. He does manage to find K1. KJ as well, potentially going to go down, but actually close enough underneath the tier two to be fine. But the respawn coming on through here. They're going to get involved with analog. 
Yopage will go down now. RTZ has to go for the BKB TP away. Unfortunately, the kit rack does not have that sort of uh, resources. And he actually will go down. <laughs> Very clunky fight. Very 65% here towards Heroic. Despite the net worth lead here for Shopify. But again, there's Alchemist inflating things. Five man smoke. Yopage. Oh, good long range stun there from Schofield. They get the grab. Is there going to be any sort of save to keep alive long enough? Goes with the swashbuckle down to low ground. But because of the mana drain, does not have enough for a rolling thunder. That will be his first life gone. They're going to set up to try and go for another kill. Immediately there's going to be the hex into the finger. Two deaths in quick succession there for Yopage. Down he goes. Kitrak attempting the TP out. But unfortunately for him, a vacuum there for Dalai Lama denies the they are moving into exactly where the majority of Heroic are right now. Who's going to be the person they find first? Jump in. They've got the grab on towards the Lions. Schofield with that good vacuum there for Dalai Lama. Cliff and Sableye taking him out of the equation entirely. It's still good pass. Will commit. They get the kill on the Schofield. Dalai Lama also going down. Also going to be the plus one here on towards KJ. At the same time, though, Adlock get re-involved. Does manage to find one kill. Will BK absolutely used to love is level one Roshan kills. I can't actually remember the last time I saw one. I'd absolutely love for that to come back into not really the meta, but be viable again. Because, man, that was so much fun seeing that. I love it. Well, there we go. I never get smoke on smoke action happening right now. They're all going to break. Schofield leading the charge. Immediately, he does get caught at the same time. Jump at the back line. They got the flame and lasso with Dabai Lama. He's still alive for now with the bash that comes in from Go Parge. They're able to find the kill. As well as Analog doing his best to zip left and right, dodging all, all the sort of control here. Schofield brought back for this one. He's completely separated again. Good two-man stun, though. Trying to now focus on to save right here. K1 doing what he can, but unfortunately, everybody's just too damn elusive. Off to the side, KJ gets killed. And that was pretty much K1 on his own. He has a BKB. Oh, his TP, sorry, but it doesn't even matter. Too many bashes. He wouldn't be able to get away from that one. And he himself alone separated and killed four deaths there for Heroic. Big, big win there for Shopify Rebellion. And they would have absolutely not really the biggest objective in the world. So I don't think they care about it all too much. The other call has been called out. With the zip forwards in from Analog. That will be a free kill. 70 seconds as well there. Quite a long death time. Okay. If they start coming over quickly, they might be able to contest this one. Bat's about to respawn. Obviously, can TP to the uh, the little outpost. And they are going to start coming on him. Roshan, about a third of its HP right now. So more than enough time here for Shopify to set up and go for some sort of counterplay. Jumping with the overcourt, though. He's got the flame and lasso again on Stalin Lama. It's a fantastic target. Can they burst him before his arm is coming out? With the infest that comes on through from K1, he's able to get the vacuum, but no wall. But even still, the damage coming out is absolutely insane. K1, though, he's bashed, he's controlled, he's dead. It actually ends up being a team wipe going the way of Shopify Rebellion. Good lord, that was quick, man. In a matter of seconds, the entire squad was dead. Yeah, because K1 does even have buyback as well. He's 2,000 gold away from it, so that would have been absolutely massive. Actually, maybe they could find him either way. Once more, Saberlight jumping on forwards. Can't quite fault the kill. There is going to be the same and Lasso once again. The Olacor always finds it. Dabai Lama with the huge high ground vacuum, but all three heroes of Shopify just get out of it. It means literally nothing to them. And now K1 may be forced to stand his ground. Trying to run himself away back into the safety of the base. We'll see how much Shopify want to try and push to this. It looks like the call is just to fall back as much as possible. Now it's down to Heroic to see if they can get any sort of kills onto the back lines of this. And Log is already infested up. Yopaj pushing forwards, but good dodge there. Make sure they do not get caught out in a really bad position. But actually, Heroic comes in once again. A three-man vacuum comes in there from Davo Lama. The is going to die as well as Kitrak right now. Both supports are gone. First life of Saberlight about to go. Arteezy with the BKB TP out. There is no bash to be seen there from K1. Question is, can... Saberlight, get away. The answer is an affirmative no. He will also go down so through. Arteezy does have his TP available if he wants to come and uh, rejoin his team. K1 though. 
Gotta be careful, there's gonna be Flame and Lasso gonna drag him back on it. Still no buyback for Sableye, only three seconds, he's gonna hold on to it. Yupage do some good work here with the Rolling Thunder, getting tons of connections rolling on through. Double Lovely with the A on disc, he's able to disengage. KJ though will be the first capture of this fight. Snowfield gonna follow his fellow support to the grave, and now Yupage just pressing for more. Can they get the control right now on towards K1? Everybody else goes for the TP out. He's a fast little man, and he's also so not gonna be seeing him anytime soon. And Heroic, with this smoke move, breaks here from K1. He's leading the charge right now. But the Shopify, maybe gonna try and make a play happen. Concoction again is gonna blow up on towards Artisi. He makes sure he dodges that one. The jump is with Theonical. This time, he's not able to get a good lasso. Vacuum there from Davai Lama. Dragon Sableye back into the home missile as well. They try to get him out of there. Sableye using the uh, harpoon quite nicely to get himself out. But regardless, poor old Kitrak will get left alone. There's gonna be the Abyssal Blade Sun on towards the Opage. Going for the TP, but the bash through the Rolling Thunder denies the TP away. Can he actually get himself out of there though? He's got damn slippery with the blink tag and he does actually successfully make it. So fortunately he won't die there, but time to be killing Roche. Literally it does not get better than this, but they think the uh, the fight is coming their way. Unfortunately for them, it's actually coming in the way of Analog. Hit by the stun with the Abyssal Blade on top. Dead immediately. And he is down for 80 seconds, and it looks like Shopify are going to take this opportunity to go high ground right now. Can he really get it fast enough? Oh, he actually TPs up towards the top side, so there's not going to be an Ember Spirit ready for this fight right now. He has to go towards the Twin Gate if possible. Same like though, just push himself forwards, trying to delay this down. Schofield with the stun, hold it back to the Olicor. In comes the Abyssal Blade as well, focus it down towards the back right. And he is gone straight away, will fight back to get involved, back on into this fight. And Lock now turning up himself. Off to the side though, KJ just gets bullied down from Artizi, now focusing on towards Schofield. The two spots are gone, but again, will buy back. Yopage now separated from his other two cores. He's desperately trying to run away. Good blink dagger off to the side, and it looks like that is enough for him to also get out of dodge up gonna wrap around into their own jungle area where potentially they might get into the uh, the back lines here of Shopify Rebellion actually never mind all they do is run into save lines not really the best target and even still they're gonna start this fight off immediately there is this abyssal blades and stuns all over the damn place Davai Lama trying his best to run away here with the help of the Aeon disc down to the side though Schofield has lost his life and now the right clicks just flooded onto K1 now finally the bashes will land he pops the BKB but more bashes to come on through he goes with the invest into something trying to survive the buyback came on through for the gyro they're doing as much as they possibly can the first step is actually going to Arteezy K1 is still alive but not for long he will finally fall. Saberlight, the only real survivor here, is trying to get himself away. The question is, can Heroic catch him? The Shiva's barely clips. Blink comes off cooldown, go for the TP. There is no vacuum. So he... Is a Monkey King mid? Same time, Shopify Rebellion is a person falling behind the Sabre Light. It's still only on one. But it's early days, guys. It's early days. No, I missed another one. First blood. It's down bottom. The only. 
top. Looking for a kill on towards Schofield. Oh, never mind, actually, KJ is on the other team, and now they're going to go on towards Arteezy. But that might Llama, man. He's finding every opportunity he can to drop a tip over towards Arteezy. Really is going for the six. He's also going to be a really difficult target to kill. Although, it looks like they're going to try and find it before he actually gets there. Both Kitrak as well as Diopage coming on through right now. He's going to need some team rotation for the rest of the squad to save him. He's still alive for now. He's surviving a really long time. He gets the shield off, but eventually he will die. But it looks like Shopify Rebellion are going to take huge casualties in response for this one. They lose two cores. Going to lose the Ola core on top of that. Question is, can they also find Kitrak? The answer is no. 360 damage. Really does make all the difference. Meanwhile, <laughs> the action doesn't actually stop. Saberlight respawns just to go back mid and die again. Yopage, though, maybe wants to try and lock down Yopage. He does manage to get the jingle stacks online. Still charged with force. The stroke of fate does reach in from afar. Now Yopage is in danger. He's healing up as best he possibly can. But he has to now run away. Good sprouts there for KJ, trying to deny the retreat, but it's just not going to be enough if Yopage survive. It's another two kills there. Now Arteezy also getting involved. Nearly kills Davai Lama, but Schofield. <laughs> what? Gives himself a bit more uh, breathing room here. Meanwhile, the mids. More fights are happening. Stampede used to try and get Yopage out of there, but nice searing chains does lock Yopage in. There is going to be the Centaur stun. Maybe that's enough to keep Yopage alive. The Wave of Terror is still enough. The Sprout still not enough, but there is going to be the Thunder God's Wrath at long last. Gets the kill. Sets up for Theola Core as well. It's just more kills and action going in. 5k gold advantage. And they're going to go for a smoke where they are immediately going to run straight in towards Kitrak. And man, this poor old edge just absolutely evaporates. Still only level four at 12 minutes in. Can't achieve all too much. Meanwhile, Saberlight attempting to run away, but he himself also gets caught. The nature. The map continuing to shriek. Meanwhile, poor old Yopage gets found out from three heroes here of Heroic. Looking for maybe to go for a kill on towards Kitrak as well. Got the old sprites, but what huge coordination there. Swap into the instant sprout. Solid coordination. Ends up netting him an extra kill there on top of everything else. Maybe Arteezy. Still in a very uh, scary spot. Everyone on the side of Rokas is rotated. Even K1 is here to get involved. There is going to be the ink swell at the very least to try and keep him alive. It looks like it's going to be enough to allow Arteezy to run away. Although... Sprouts cut off Arteezy's escape. Davalam also here. The chain's going to be able to put a stop to this one as he will go down as well. There is literally no shot. I don't know if it's quite that high yet, but it is definitely favoring uh, Heroic as Ned is going to be able to get another free kill here on Disablelight. When KJ is becoming a real monster himself. 300 gold ahead of Sablelight. 400 gold. Hello, Heroic. Trying to find some action here at the top lane. They do scout out there with the Thunder God's Wrath. Saberlight walks straight into the open arms there of Analog. Kit Rack as well. Probably going to go down. Nice Centaur stun. Maybe that's enough to keep him alive. As, yeah, the Zeus just can't get by his tier 2 tower. And I would not put it past to a Heroic to attempt it at all. Hello, no Lama. Able to get a free D ward. They do lose. Nothing at all so far. <laughs> the Stampede's coming on through. Saberlight trying to get on top of KJ. RTC also getting involved. Looks like the Nature's Prophet is the sacrifice. And Davai Lama going to easily be able to just walk himself away from this. I wonder if we're going to see a lot of the... Um, oh, what are they called? Moonlight things or whatever. Oh, they actually spot your parts there because of the Thunder God's Wrath. Try and run away. KJ is here though. TP immediately cancelled and burst down. Super easy kill there for Analog to net that one. Yeah, I was wondering if they'd get the... Got the Ink Swell on top of the Centaur, but it's just too risky. Apparently, they do not want to make that jump. Instead, they're going to find the opportunity to go on towards Schofield. That is definitely a free kill. Going to be able to get themselves out of that one for a free. The response, though, is going to be on towards Kitrak. Davai Lama, though, slowed up from the Diffusal Blade. Has to run away. K1, though, comes with the Harpoon, trying to drag back RTZ. Now silenced up, having to run away and not going to chase after him as much as possible there with the lightning. 
Everyone on Shopify is a little bit too fast. Out comes the Wukong's Kamara, trying to focus on KJ. Can he actually get the kill on towards the nation before he dies? He will, but eventually he will still lose his life. The Ursa as well, getting picked off from Analog. So they're able to find two, so it costs them their two main cores. Maybe even Sabrelight's gonna get found right now. And it looks like he is. Goes for the stomp, trying to make the space to run away. <laughs> it means literally nothing. He still will die. So they make that four for two exchange. Just goes down way too quickly, man. K1 just shreds it to pieces. A just giving over towards Analog as well. Gonna keep him super safe. We got poor old Theolacor. I think he was uh, attempting a Wisdom Rune snatch. Unfortunately, he's just gonna die. Oh no, the BM. <laughs> the BM. Just go AFK and watch him die to the uh, Triads. Very, very sad. Saberlight as well, down at the bot lane, caught out of position. Will eventually go down as well. Stampede also used, not really to achieve all too much though. Well, that's a full lane of barracks gone, K1. Potentially just going to run into the mid lane as well. Shopify Rebellion attempting maybe some last ditch effort to go for some action here. They've got the jump on towards Analog, but there's going to be the swap bringing him to safety. Yopaz jumps on in. It's going to get the Wukong's command down. It's in a really good position. They found the first kill on towards Schofield, but K1, he just bullies him down. Yopaz is dead. Arteezy as well. He tries to go for a jump up, but unfortunately, the parking says no. He's having to stand his ground on the low ground and will end up dying. All three calls dead. Buyback comes out from the Centaur. But you use all that only to kill a vengeful spirit. KJ, 10,000 gold. Miles ahead of both Saberlight and Yopage. Only 1,000 gold behind that of Arteezy as well. Not easy whatsoever. And actually, speaking of KJ, now in a one versus two. He's surviving for now. He's got a lot of damage reduction. Here comes on through. And actually, the help from uh, Adelon. <laughs> they kill Saberlight. They're also dying. Arteezy though, immediately poked, just he was about to jump on in, so he can't even defend the buildings. There it is, Megas are up. Now K1 charges on forwards, the untouchable aura try to keep Kitrak alive, but he still dies way too quickly. Descending the illusions, the silent terribly up. The K1 illusions, the soloing the Olacor, what the good lord! <laughs> he just died, Arteezy dies, and that is it. GG is called, and it is heroic. Taking the series 2-1 in...